Hello, my name is Leonardo and today I'm going to show you how to handle favorite codes in Maximum. First, we have to go to the Assets application where I have my centrifugal pump as a sample. I'm using Max Demo database, but this is a record that I just created. I've also added an, an image. The first thing we have to do is to set the failure class. The failure class pumps. Now I save my asset. I can go to failure codes where we can see the full hierarchy of the pumps. So we have problems, causes and remedies. Basically, this works in a hierarchical way and we have a filter. If I click on low volume, I have the causes for low volume and if I click, uh, let's say, jammed pipe, I have the remedies for jammed pipe, which can be replaced or clear. So this is how the family codes work. You can easily manage, you can remove, add new failure codes. This is working as an organization-based record. And as you can see here in the asset, this pump is related to this asset and you can use the same failure class on several different assets from the same class. Now I'm just gonna copy the asset here and start a work order. Now I'm going to create a new work order for this asset and you see that the failure class here will be retrieved. Let's just add the asset here um, and the description will be um, broken. This is it without a location. As you can see the failure class is coming from the asset but you can also select a different failure code. You can also select the problem. Let's say that you know the problem, which is uh, the pump is broken. So stop it. Now I have my asset in my work order. I will not cover any other information here because the goal is only to show how the failure classes work. So one important thing that I have to show is if I duplicate this work order, this means that I'm creating a new work order with the same information as the previous one. When I try to save, I have this information here. The problem was already reported. It says that the problem has already been reported on the following work order for this location or asset. In our case, is the asset. And you can either continue creating this work order, you can select here a relate records that will bring the relationship between the two work orders, or you can cancel and go back without saving the record. You can search for the work order already created in waiting approval status. Let's go through the status quickly, approve it. This is just a simulation. I'm not going through all the steps that you can take in a work order, for example, plan materials, report the actuals. I'm just gonna go straight to the completion now to show you how this is usually handled. Basically, we click on failure reporting. We also have our failure class the fail date, and we have the problem. I can select the failure code to complete my failure tree. Let's say that the motor failed and the solution was the replaced motor. This is it. Now I have my failure class, my problem, my cause, and the remedy. So it's important to use failure codes as long as you have the proper hierarchies for the proper asset types. This can be very useful to your organization because you can use this information to prevent future issues all the time. Thank you very much and see you later.